Um, I, I I thought that we had a, a good, a pretty good 15 minutes to start the third period. Um, we gave up some chances. I thought we'll take a look at that in the last five minutes with the game on the line, and um, we'll see see why that happened and what we have to do to uh, rectify that and, and try to rectify it. Um, right now, a lot of it is just trying to teach guys the game um, and trying to simplify the game um, so that they can put themselves in a position to have some success. And, and so I'm, 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 again, I'm proud of the resilience that we showed tonight. Uh, the overtime means nothing. The shootout means nothing, I mean, but um, getting, you know, the guys feel better about that than the alternative. So um, we're still looking for our first win, and hopefully that happens at some point soon. How important was it to come out and have that start to the third period? You know, last night it seemed like you guys couldn't get really anything going to start the third, so. It was, it's every, every, every instance that we can grow right now is, is important to us. Um, again, we'll look at what happened where, in the last five minutes, but every instance um, for us where we see growth and some consistency and growth and, and some sort of identity within our group um, is, is, uh, you know, is, is really important to us right now because I, I've said before, I'm not, I'm not sure what we have really. I'm starting to get a better feel. I think Marcin Evix is a, is a, I'm sorry, I mean, he's a, he's a player that makes plays. He's a risk reward guy. Um, I think the Costa are, are the real deal. He's a big time player. I thought Laurie Raymond's a good young player. Campbell played by far his best game for us tonight. So um, those we're going to need uh, those guys are going to need to grow for us to give us a, a, some some really good uh, you know a good supportive element. I know the lines are still a work in progress. Um, you were able to change things around from last night. Um, Nordstrom worked his way into the lineup. It looked like he worked his way up to the third line there with Arvid. Um, how has it been seeing these upperclassmen start to work their way in and get that ice time? Yeah, I, you know, you're always looking. What, what you go home with at night is those guys. Those guys that bring it have brought it every day and things like that. And trying to be extremely consistent in meeting with them and talking to them about what we're looking for. And what we're looking for isn't just killing minutes, isn't just eating minutes, not just going out there and mm -hmm. not getting scored on and trying to survive. We're looking for them. I mean, they're, they're trying to be professional hockey players and, and you know, you have to excel at this level to have a chance to play at the next level. Uh, you know, you look at Tanner Carroll, he's dominated this level, All-American, um, all, an, an upper-end player in the American League. In the NHL, he's a, he's a depth guy that gets up because of salary cap purposes, an extremely good hockey player, but what's keeping him alive is his ability to help a team in the American League and his ability to go up and, and be able to play and still contribute, you know, offensively and, and be able to make a play in things at the NHL level. But... Um, his his level right now seems to be where, where he's at, and he's making good, you know, making a good living for his family at it. Um, we're trying to some of these guys. We want them to find that, see see if they have that ability at this level. So when they leave the game, um, you know, when it's time to walk away, they can say, "Hey, I give everything I I had. I put it all on the line, and it, it that's what it was." I don't want them to feel they got screwed or anything like that. And really, it comes down the reason Marcin Evans is in the lineup because as you see, he can make a play now. He is has some liabilities to him, and at some point, I'm sure that'll, you know, that'll <laughs> create a different scenario for him. But um, right now, we need that example of a guy that can make a play, and um, to our other guys, uh, hey, listen, that's why he's in the lineup because he can make a play. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I, I Nordy got an award tonight from the group. Uh, you know, he was awarded by the team with one of the awards after the game, and deservedly so. I, he earned another shot for sure. He's a I thought he played a, a competitive game. He he was around the net. He was attacking the net. He was safe with the puck. He played fast. Um, I was I was actually really you know you can see when he wins an award what he means to the group, mm -hmm. um, and that goes a long way as well. So I was, I was extremely happy with him. I was extremely happy with our freshmen. Um, their growth, their consistency. I thought Campbell played well. Like I said, you know this was many guys I thought. Are, are getting better. We certainly weren't dominant. You know, we certainly weren't dominant, but we were we were a little bit better. Uh, given the semi rough night Blake had last night, were there any doubts into starting him tonight? No. Okay. No. Would the, <laughs> would New England not start Tom Brady? No. There's, okay. No. But I but but I thought I thought uh, Max was really good when he was. He's a good goalie. He's and I, I give him a ton of credit because he's you know he's biding his time and and you know he looked on top of it last night, ready to play and. I, you know, he can he can play as well, you know. So, but but you know, you get. Uh, I, and I don't I didn't think he was I didn't think he was bad last. Night. I thought that I didn't think um, there were soft goals or anything last night. Now he would say different because he's a 
perfectionist at his craft. Um, but I didn't think we helped him. I thought we had a lot of holes in us. Uh, I thought our sponge had, had some pretty uh, Swiss cheese had some pretty big holes in it last night defensively. I was listening to the uh, pregame show. Hi there. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing great. Good. Great shoot, great shoot out win. You, um, on the uh, pregame radio show, you mentioned the turnovers were just a killer last night. Did you improve on that tonight? I thought we did. We'll look at the overall number, but I'm sure we didn't have 69. Um, but we'll see what that what that number is. But I know in the first 15 minutes of the third, they were limited. And part of you know, there's guys that make a living out of doing nothing more than making sure that puck gets out. And you know, in the National Hockey League, that puck gets out of the zone. You know, they can make a play with the puck and get out of the zone and, and not be costly. And those little things are something that we you know we have to learn. And but I I, I would say I mean, what did you think? I thought it was, I thought it was down. And um, you also mentioned you had some freshmen coming into the team. Do you think there were some jitters playing first weekend here at home? <coughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I, I think there's. I think again, I don't. We don't have an identity yet. Our upper class, I don't think, has a strong identity yet. Um, I don't think they've established a strong. I think this, the dominant personalities. Arvid's certainly a dominant personality, but I think the dominant personality um, last year were. Leip and, and Parker Soretsky and, and Crespi and those guys were the dominant personalities um, that that really in a, in a lot of ways control the flow of the team. The other guys are good skill but the actual, and I've said that a lot, that group, um, I can't say enough about the job they did last year and they, they controlled the mood of the team and the competitiveness of the team and things like that. Um, a lot of our upper class right now doesn't really have, they're not that type of, of person. Arvid is. To some degree, but a lot, a lot are, are a lot are just want to be like, just let me play, and you know, and I don't want to rock the boat. I just want to play and stay out of trouble, and so. And just your overall thoughts on the weekend, yesterday and today. Disappointing yesterday. Didn't sleep much. Caught a cold. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, felt like it was this today all day. Felt like it was March playoff run. Um, just worn down. But I think that. Uh, I, I, I see I see just a little bit of a little bit of a flicker, a little bit of a, a light maybe to grow and I don't again I don't know what our ceiling is with I don't know the competitive greatness within you know the ability to be your best when you're best when you have to be your best to win titles and things like that. I, I don't know for sure where that's gonna come from and if that's in the group. So I don't know I really don't know the identity of the team yet, but I did see some pieces and I do see that uh, Max Costa parity is going to be a big part of of adding to that, and I do think that Laurie Raymond is going to be a big part of adding to that, and I do think that Campbell's going to be a big part of adding to that, along with you know, along with the Kukinins and and the whole slew of Piedlas. And you know, there'll be a lot of a lot more parts. Um, I, I see more. I have less questions and a little bit more direction, um, and hopefully the group does as well. I you know, I like the group. I really like the group. I think they're great. They're great young men and. Um, they work really hard. I, I really do like the group, and it's hard to challenge them um, to be better players because I don't I don't know if they're at, you know if some guys are at their limit or not. So you challenge them, challenging them to maybe be a little bit more than they're capable of being. I don't know if that's fair or unfair. You know what I mean? So um, when I know a little bit more and I see that a kid, that a young man can dominate or something, then. You know, then we can hold. It's a easier to hold a bit more accountability. Um, Evan Orr works his way into the lineup here in game two. Casper works his way up from the um, extra defenseman. Casper is really good. Yeah. How how have you liked their play here this uh, this game? I like I like Casper uh, was physical. I really liked Casper. I thought Evan played showed himself well. I really liked Casper. He played a. I I I you know the penalty was a marginal call on uh, mm -hmm. you know for their second goal. Um, I'd want him to do that. Make that hit. All the time, you know, he was. I thought he just uh, stayed inside his check, and you know, he's a big, strong body that had a little bit of momentum going. So I thought I, I was really. Um, I think Casper really um, was Casper, like what what we're hoping that he'll be. Yeah. 